Oh, in death, where is your sting? Oh, hell, where is your victory? For some folks, the victories of hell are whispering in their ear with each breath like a megaphone. War, poverty, hunger, injustice, hatred, racism, homelessness, imprisonment, in a word, they're lepers. For them, the hope that life has a certain chance to get better can be manifested in a single touch. Because, well, most people, they don't even want to shake their hand. It takes all their might just to stand in what they feel is quicksand, making them slip back into their wasteland and their story. It might never hit a newsstand, but please don't misunderstand. They can teach you. They can teach you the joy of finding a good Samaritan who turned around. They can teach you the love of having nothing material but a family member's hand to hold, a wild mockingbird to listen to, a blanket to wrap up in. They can teach you how it's better to give than receive as they freely give up everything they can't afford to lose, invisibly gaining what can never be taken away. They can teach you the purity of a conversation. Beyond LOLs and OMGs, they see you in the complexity of iPhones, emails, and that's so 3.149762 seconds ago. It's a simplicity I'm jealous of. The truth is, well, the truth is I'm scared. Scared that I have eyes but can't see. Scared that I have ears but can't hear. That I'm way too comfortable. That the greatest story I'll ever hear is waiting to be told under an overpass, slipping into cardboard blankets and rag pajamas, laying their head on a concrete pillow. But the only things that are listening are graffitied walls and empty streets, and all I have, well, all I have are words. But words still maintain their power. They are the means to meaning, the enunciation of truth. When you strip down all the glamour and glitz, when you close your eyes to the performer's motions, all you're left with are words. Words are the needle and thread, weaving their way through our minds and ears, our throats and hearts. They jumpstart our connection, our lives intersection, and we yearn to be remembered. So with trembling knees but unshakable voices, we step on life stage, introduce ourselves to complete strangers captivate their hearts and ears, threading the needle from our minds and throats, and they listen. Not with the intent of argument or wishing it was their turn to talk, but they're content with the content of your story. And for that moment, hell has no victory, death no sting. People are being saved by listening, by teaching, and by being taught, discovering in the paradox of loving until it hurts. No more hurt, only more love. So for me, I find myself in the paradox, sitting on a street corner with my homeless friend named Flash, laughing, hugging, praying, promising that I'll never let go of his story. And as I hear his words of struggle and pain, they give way to joy and hope. I look around and I have to wonder, oh, in death, where is your sting? Oh, hell. Where is your victory? Because every story matters. And when you have the courage to tell yours, you deserve to be rewarded with being heard.